Hello, I'm Kristen, and welcome to my channel on healing my body and mind through nutrition and exercise. Welcome back if you've been following along. Welcome if you are new. Please make sure to hit that subscribe button, like, and follow along. Welcome back. So today I wanted to talk to you about managing hunger on the carnivore diet. So let's discuss this situation. How long have you been on carnivore? Do you find that your hunger has decreased over time? Do you find that you're still hungry in between meals? We're so accustomed to snacking. It's it's what we've known. It's what people tell you, right? That's why there's so many snacks that are sold out there. But really, the reality is that we're really not supposed to be snacking. We really should just be having really nutritious meals that keep us full. And so for me, in the beginning, I did snack because I would get hungry in between. And now I barely ever snack. If I am really hungry, it usually happens at nighttime where all of a sudden, I'm still kind of hungry. I probably, even though I was full at dinner time, didn't eat enough. And so I will get something else to eat at night. But I usually don't go towards the, I eat at this time and I eat two to three meals a day. Like that's the normal, right? That is what we're taught. Breakfast, lunch, dinner, snack in between, snack after. Well, with the carnivore diet, what I've learned is that my body has gotten adjusted to this way of eating. And I really only eat about twice a day. So I eat my first meal anywhere from 11 to one o'clock in the afternoon. And that's usually my eggs and my bacon and my coffee. And I get pretty full. Like right now I just had, I did my um, fried cheese omelet with a fried egg and oh, so good with bacon. And so yesterday I did three eggs and I just could not finish it. So today I did the two eggs and I could barely finish it, but I got it down and I am full. Now I pretty much won't get hungry until dinner time. And dinner time is anywhere from five to seven o'clock at night, depending on my schedule, depending on how hungry I am. And if I still need to cook, I mean, there's so many variables there, but for the most part, those are my two meals. And then for dinner, I usually have a big piece of steak, um, yesterday I had steak and chicken. Sometimes I'll have steak and shrimp. So it just really depends on the day. And I'm happy with that. I'm satisfied with that. Now, if I do get hungry really late at night, I usually will gear towards like a charcuterie or cheese or cottage cheese. Those are kind of like my go-to little snacks. I know we probably shouldn't be snacking, but I also think that we need to listen to our bodies. So it's kind of like a yin yang pool. I don't know if I'm like even using that terminology correctly, but in the sense of you just have to listen to your body. Yes. Our body, you know, we're really not supposed to be snacking. That's not what our bodies really need. We need to get full off our meals. I do believe that to an extent, but I also think that we have to listen to our bodies. If I didn't eat enough and I'm hungry at night, I'm not going to just stay hungry. So I think it's okay to have a little snack or maybe grab another piece of burger and eat that, right? Whatever it is. So that's usually like my go-to throughout the day. Um, most of the time, I just have those two meals and I'm good to go. So I would love to hear where you are on your journey. Um, what are the levels of hunger? Has it changed? How do you handle them? So for me, like I said, I listen to my body. The way that I handle it is I just eat. I eat when I'm hungry and I stop when I'm full. I don't give myself a schedule. I don't measure my food. I don't weigh my food. I don't say I need to have X amount of protein with X amount of fat and try to figure that all out. All of that is really confusing to me. I have never liked to do any of that, even when it, when it involved any type of meal planning. I think that that's very um, tedious. I have three kids. I work from home. Like I don't have time for that. Sure. Of course. Yes. Technically I can make time, but I don't want to make time. I just don't find it enjoyable to have to do that on top of everything else that I have on my to-do list. And I just want to enjoy my meal. So for me, eat when hungry, stop when full, make it simple. Don't make it overcomplicated. Enjoy your meal and manage your hunger. So I hope that this video gave you a little bit of good tips to use. It's literally just so simple. And I hope that your journey is going well and I will see you again tomorrow.